Hi guys, in this video you will learn a weapon you can use against pawn to e4 while playing black. After e4, play e5. If knight to f3, play knight to c6, defending your pawn in the center. Bishop to b5 introduces the rule of pairs. Play knight to f6 attacking this pawn. If white castles leaving the pawn for you to capture, do not take that pawn. Go ahead to play knight to g4. This is setting up the attacking structure and this is the foundational move you need to make sure that white falls into this trap. If h3 comes up attacking that knight, do not take the knight away, just play h5. If white goes ahead to capture the knight, take the pawn attacking white knight. There are many responses white can play from this position. We are going to treat some of them. So let's go with knight to h2. If knight to h2, just activate your queen to h4 and this position is winning for you. Check this out. If white plays f4, then you can continue with g3. If rook to f3, then queen takes the knight on h2 will check. King to f1, knight to d4. Knight to d4 comes in to stop the king from running through this square. So if king to e1, queen takes the pawn on g2. If rook to f1, Rook to h1 comes in. Queen to e2 may happen to just pick up the queen. And this game is winning for you from here. So any further variation, you know how to handle yourself. In this position, how about white go with f3 instead? Just play g3. If rook to f2, play knight to d4. After king to f1, take the knight with the pawn instead. If king to e1, then we have a queen on the board. From this position, many things can happen from here. This rook is now pinned to the king. This is check. It's likely the bishop comes back home. Then queen takes the bishop. If king takes, then queen to h1 is checkmate. In this position, if rook to e1 right away, then queen takes the knight on h2 check. King to f1, knight to d4, blocking this particular square so the king cannot run. If f4, g3 so this pawn can stop the king from running through this square if bishop takes we check bishop takes queen to h5 giving up the queen here we can just play queen to h1 check queen takes rook takes is checkmate back to this position if we talk about the knight going back home here then we can play our finishing move queen to h4 this move is straightforward. I've shown many lines with probably pawn to f4 and f3. So if pawn to f3 instead, just launch this pawn. We have just seen a variation connected to the Berlin defense. Let's look at the exchange variation in the ruler pairs. After e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, e6. In this position here, bishop takes the ninth. Do not take with this pawn here. However, take with the pawn on D, opening room for the queen and also so the queen can have access to our key square h4. So, white will try to keep his king safe and go for development activity. So if he castles the king faster in just move 5, play bishop to g4, pinning down this particular knight to the queen. Now, White will love to remove this bishop from here by playing the move h3. You remember this position, right? What do you do? Just launch h5, leaving that bishop. So, an inexperienced player or someone who has not fallen for the fishing pole trap before might take this bishop. If he takes the bishop, just take the pawn attacking the knight. So, we have treated knight going back home and knight coming to this square. So, let's talk about knight taking this pawn in the center. We can unleash our queen to h4. If f4, you know what to do. g3. Queen to h5, we take the queen with the rook. So after rook to f3, queen to h1 is checkmate. 